Adam Dudley. Uh, you have a good week? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was alright for me. It was a little annoying. I was having um, computer crashing problems. Yeah. Like, uh, two days ago, my computer just You're... not doing anything. Just sitting there, crashed three times. Yeah. I'd yeah. leave it running, I'd walk into a room, i come back, and everything's gone, and it is just rebooted, crashed. So, yeah, uh, you've had some issues with your well, computer. And it, last it, it, what so it was, was I had some memory, some bad memory. Yeah, and it took and you a while to kind of work around yeah, to that. Yeah, to figure out, well, it took me a while to, you know, because it, it was a year or so ago I built a whole new system, and I was having trouble kind of pretty much since the beginning. And since, and it was like, oh, it's, you know, everything I saw was like, it has to be a new piece of hardware or something you installed. I'm like, it's all new. Yeah. <laughs> How can I tell yeah. which one is causing problem? And through a lot of trial and error and swapping out parts and, and it, you know, substituting other ones just to fit. I finally r- arrived at what I thought it was, was bad memory. And I had a bad stick somewhere and it took me a while to narrow it down. And finally I just replaced all of them. Yeah. So, and upgraded too. I went from 16 to 32 gigs uh, so a month or so ago. Yeah. And, and that uh, seemed to fix your problem. Yeah, it fixed it. helped a lot, but I would still get random like corrupted, like memory corruption errors. memory, not memory errors, it's but like just the corrupted system. Data. Yeah, corrupted system stuff. And so I think that just I had the bad memory for so long, it, it completely jacked up my Windows. So, uh, I so I did a fresh install yesterday, and yeah. it seems to be working fine now. So well, that's good. That kind of kept me from playing some stuff for a little while. Yeah. But, um, what are you speaking of hardware failure? Uh, one of my hearing aids died. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm working yeah. off one hearing aid. So you're right more now. deaf than usual. I'm more deaf than usual. Um, well, it, it didn't die. It just doesn't work. Yeah, well, I guess well, that means it died. That, that's uh, kind of the same thing, isn't it? Well, it it works half the time. Ours has Bluetooth features. Yeah, which those work just fine. Yeah, but I can't hear anything yeah, in the, the real world. It's something to do with the actual microphone. Yeah, so uh, hopefully uh, get that fixed this week. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, uh, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it, it's kind of annoying because you don't hear me. So if I talk I really want... loud today, <laughs> <laughs> I just I want you to listen to everything I have to tell you. Well, I am listening to you. I just can't hear myself. Well, right I now. mean, no, I mean. Not in here. I mean, oh, in like the real world. world. Like all week, I've been like, "Hey, Dan, tell." I mean, not Dan. <laughs> you, <laughs> you're talking to yourself now. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, th- this is the root of our relationship, Leah. <laughs> I just pretend you're me. Um, the and you're yeah, you're constantly telling me why. Yeah, I can't but, hear any. I have uh, had everyone repeat everything twice, yeah. and it's really annoying, and frustrating. Uh, but anyway, hopefully we'll get that fixed soon. Yeah. Well, yeah. And so I I got my system back up. It's up and running, I think, and. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it won't, won't. It hasn't really been a problem. I like most time I'm playing games, I have no problems. It's just, yeah. it's just a no, more of an annoyance that it just randomly does that sometimes. Yeah. But I'm still playing Stardew, not not as heavily as I was for the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, played it. What what play, you you finished the first year, right? Yes, I I'm I'm in the about I'm in the summer of the second year now. So I've gone where, through where spring. Where does it start? It starts in spring. <laughs> okay. You have 28 days of spring, then it's summer, and I'm like the first quarter of summer right now, and uh, so I'm and I start. I kind of took a break from it because I got to do another stuff, but I'm I started playing it again, and I was playing it before we came over here. I was playing it. I yeah. probably go back to it for a while. Yeah. Uh, Got to feed that addiction. Yeah, it's uh, but it's not. It doesn't have its hold on me as much. I, I'm getting where I've done enough of it mm-hmm. that it's. It, I don't know. It, it's still fun. I still like it. I can't, I kind of want them to add more to it. Yeah. And I know he's been making minor updates to it. Like I know he's been doing updates to improve the marriages and stuff mm. uh, to make them, all the characters more unique in that way. But yeah. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. I'm still liking it. And uh, I'll probably keep playing it. Yeah. Uh, I I'm still playing Pit Cross. Um, yeah. It's it, it's part of my daily I guess casual gaming. I just pick yeah. it up. You know, some point during yeah. the day, if I'm in, play it for yeah. We both. Minutes. I've been playing it a lot too. We, yeah. We've been playing it in the car and stuff yeah. when we're not driving. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, just and just uh, just know, I gotta I, you know get a few puzzles in and and I'm you know trying to make my uh, pick rights pick rights. I don't yeah. know how to say it right. Yeah, I think it's pick rights. Pick right. Uh, save those. I've just got to the point where I can't progress. I I, I purchased another section, and then. And now I can't. I I you, have to bait through your, your yeah reserve. Bait through, yeah. So I'm gonna have to build up a little while yeah, or, I, or buy into it more. I don't know if I'll do that or not yet. I broke down and I spent most of the the Nintendo eShop monies yeah. that I had. I'm my ten bucks. Yeah, I had. I spent what 
I had like six bucks or so, seven bucks of it. So I just spent most of it and bought myself some pick rights, and I've been able to play consistently without yeah. having whenever I feel like it, as opposed yeah. to waiting. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I've been playing it still. I have some money still left yeah. on the eShop, so I, I might use it to get it. I don't I, know. We'll see. I think if if once I run. If I run out and I've kind of stagnated again, I if I it might be enough to make me lose interest. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I still got, fun. I like it. Yeah. Um, it's, um, I feel like I'm getting pretty good at it. Yeah. I'm, I still have he- oh with the uh, the challenges. Really? I, I I can't. It wants you to do four of them in a minute and a half, a minute and thirty 50, seconds. It's like a minute and fifty. Under, uh, whatever it is. I think it's a minute and fifty. And I just cannot. Do it. I, I, I've come I close. I used to but, be able to do it, and then but, it, it seems like they add on more and they get a little harder. And I usually, I usually come pretty close. Yeah. Unless I it's just that seven I had by one seven where, throws me off yeah, every time. Yeah. I I had one that I uh, I was like I just got stuck. I made a mess of something. I messed up. Yeah. On, on like the first one, and it took me like four or five minutes to finish them all. And I'm like, this is and I terrible. Think, I think the trick is on those is not to do the X's. Not to worry about filling in X's. Yeah. Because the X's you kind of, is more of for yourself to make note of it. But if you can do it without doing that, because that takes time to add yeah. an X. So if you can do it without doing that, you can I do it I mean, because it's it very always quick. seven by seven. There's only so many patterns. I yeah. think a lot of it is just well, like, yeah, knowing the, I, the first thing I do is go through all the sevens and sixes. The I fill all the ones. sevens, and then I do the fives and sixes, and I like fill those middle ones. And usually that gets me through most of them. I yeah. usually can power through them pretty quick. Yeah. It's usually not necessarily under the time limit, but pretty yeah. close. Oh. Um, Still fun. I'll, I'll keep yeah. playing it for I, a little I while. Got, we we spoke last week about me pre-ordering Dark Souls three and getting the bundle that came with a Steam yeah. controller. Yes. Well, my Steam controller came in. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess it was Wednesday. Wednesday. Last yeah. Wednesday, it came in, and it it was pretty cool. I got it got there a little a day earlier than I expected, or yeah. at least the shipping had had uh, had predicted for me. Yeah. And um, I got it in. It I opened, unboxed it. And uh, it came in a nice, really swanky-looking steam shoebox. Yeah. And uh, yeah, with like, and it's it's really kind of cool. It's really sleek. Uh, yeah. It's I, it's comfortable. I get. I mean, it's, it feels pretty comfortable. I haven't got put on like long-term play into it yet. Yeah. It's a little weird. Yeah, it's different because I, I you I you let me play around with it a little bit mm-hmm. and. It's got buttons in different places yeah. and other standard. I'm yeah. used to playing. I play most of my, you know, any, if I'm going to play with a console controller, I usually play with the 360 mm-hmm. controller. Um, I play, you know, a lot of PC games. I play Fallout with yeah. the 360 controller. Um, Heretic. Yeah, no, I used to play everything on PC with the keyboard and mouse, but then when I got an Xbox 360 back in the day, I got to playing with everything with the controller, and mm-hmm. I played... Skyrim and Fallout 3, all that on Xbox 360, so I played nope. with a controller. Nope. So when I went over to PC, I still play with the nope. controller. And so I I kind of split my time. I play some a lot of games yeah. with the, uh, the, the 360 controller. But mine's kind of worn out, so I had, was considering getting the Steam controller, but I wanted to try yours out first. Yeah, I haven't put a lot of game time in it because, you know, computer issues. And, yeah. and I just don't have... I don't play a lot of games with a controller, there are certain ones I do, like um, the Arkham, the Arkham Knight. Yeah. I play all the Arkham games. That if I played them on the PC, uh, I think I played the first one on Xbox. So when I started getting them on PC, I still and played you're them. You're giving me trouble. But huh? it's a third-person game. It's not a first-person game. So I don't play first-person games on yeah. with a controller. <laughs> uh, it's not, no. Yeah. And it, um, but I I jumped into Dark Souls two, kind of just to see how it felt in that because I know I'm you know. Uh, with Dark Souls 3, I will be probably using it pretty heavily. That'll be my real hardcore test of it. Yeah. And kind of get a feel for it. But what was so strange to me, and it took me a second to realize what it was doing, because the way it's set up, it has two kind of touch pads. Yeah. And one's the, the, a D-pad, and one is like, it's supposed to be like a touchpad mouse type thing. But what makes it different, as opposed to just being touching it and, and you know, using it like a normal touchpad, is that it has a haptic uh, response thing built mm-hmm. into it. It's got this little trimmer. Yeah. And I didn't realize it was doing it. It's so yeah. subtle. Like when you rub, when you're touching it and you're activating it and it's moving, it gives you a little trimmer. 
Yeah, it was like real. If you do it slow, it's real soft. Yeah. But if you do it fast, it's a little harder. Yeah. Um, and so you can it yeah. almost respond to your motion. Yeah, and so it lets you know that you're you know one getting it getting an input in and tell it kind of lets you and you can kind of push across it and you can feel it when it's yeah. when it like it gives it uh, what do you call it like a. Uh, an inertia to it where it keeps yeah, going a it, little bit. It, you can kind of so get a sense of it. how hard you're you're yeah. spinning. And it's really interesting and it's almost like force feedback. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Um and with a touch pad. Yeah, the weirdest thing has been for me is that like since it's up where on like an Xbox controller, it's where the, the buttons the are. buttons are, the A, B, X, Y. Yeah. Uh those are that's where that is. So when I reach over to where an an Xbox controller would be a joystick, yeah. That's where the buttons are. So I'm always reaching over there to press a button and because the B button is kind of where the A button sh- normally it feels like it is. So I keep hitting the wrong button there. And so I think once I play with it a while, I'll get used to it. Yeah, that was the thing that threw me off initially because I played with it a little bit. And I was like, well, Fallout is what I've been playing, so I want to uh, try it. And so I was playing on Yuri's a little bit. And the looking around didn't bother me. Yeah. Um, it, I was like, okay, this feels good. I can kind of look around. And yeah. But the thing that threw me off was that the moving, not you know, the mo- touchpad is in the place of the button. Mm-hmm. So I was used to the jo- the 360 and yeah. using the joystick to move around. It, it's so kind of I'm like a little bit of, backwards. Yeah, it's and I kind of I'd have to play it for a while to get used like to it. It's like flipped from the 360 because on the 360 you have you have a controller button up top, a yeah. joystick on top, and a joystick down low, right? Yeah. If they're at a slant. Well, this one's the opposite. You're the the one that's on the right is is up, and the one that's on the left is down. Yeah. So it flips it that way, and so it makes you know I play most predominantly. I played with the 360 controller, so I'm used to it, and it's just like kind of slanted the other way. Yeah. So it makes it taking a little bit to get used to. I but think it, once you get used to it, I think I good. I don't think I have problems once I get used to it. But it is interesting because the left the D pad has that little haptic response thing as well. Okay. Yeah. It, it's and it it's a different vibration. Than the the, the, the the right one the right one the right joy or the joy uh, touchpad the, yeah. yeah the right touchpad it, it it the right one's got like a real subtle just like like almost rapid tapping while on the left one is more of like a slower like harder click mm-hmm. but it do, it's not all you don't that one doesn't get used as much it it usually only shows up when I'm like touching at it for a menu or something like that it might yeah. show up but mostly it's just a D pad yeah and it's really weird it's really interesting and it's got the little paddles underneath. Which I like. I like that a yeah, lot. Yeah, they're just like, they and I think it mostly takes the place because it has bumpers. But because of the way your hand positions, you you have to kind of reach up with your fingers to get the bumpers. But I think the pads, mo- in most cases, take the place of the bumpers. Yeah, I, I, it, I think. it has a lot more buttons. I mean, there were six buttons on the back. There's, there's, there's the triggers. There's the, triggers, the bumpers. The bumpers and, and then, then the, the, paddle, the paddle. So there's the six bottom. buttons. There's six buttons all across the back. Which side is of. interesting, and it's a good yeah. use of the well, space. Well, the, the so. um, Xbox One Elite controller has the paddles. And oh well, yeah. the three. I guess the uh, Xbox One. I don't, the think the, I don't think the have? normal ones have that. I've never t- played with the Xbox One I don't think the Xbox One... So. No, the Xbox One doesn't change much from the original controller. The sure. the Elite one, that you know, really expensive one, is really nice. I thought about getting one of those. It has um, little paddles. paddles that you can t- attach or customize or whatever. Okay. And, um, yeah, but I... I I played around with it in a few different things. I played some Long Dark with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just something to play, try out and... and uh, I'm I'm liking it. It is different. I'm, it's gonna take some adjustment too. And yeah. like I said, uh, next week with Dark Souls three, I will. Yeah, be... I was trying to decide if I was gonna get one because it comes with the bundle. It's yeah. twenty dollars cheaper. If yeah. I'm gonna get a controller, I might as well do it with that. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. Maybe, and of course, maybe Dark yeah. Souls is already coming out, and I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, I won't get it by the time it comes out. So I yeah. haven't decided if I'm gonna get it or not. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, to maybe I'll let you should take it today and and really kind of play around with yeah. it and see see, see if, if you I like it. Do it. Um, I'll let you, t- I'll let you borrow it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah, and so I think that next week I'll have a better idea. I'll have put some time onto it. Yeah. Um, but it is interesting. It's different. Yeah. I, um. And it feels comfortable with yeah. the short bursts I've used it. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's, um, but yeah, um, so I've also been playing, or I played for a little bit this week. I d- got the itch. We had talked about a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. Diablo and, uh, yeah. Because they had updated Diablo 2, and I was like, man, that kind of makes me want to play Diablo again. So I downloaded uh, Diablo 3 again. Yeah. Um, Which uh, I might do. 
Uh, yeah, I I maybe, was playing I maybe started, after Dark. Well, Dark actually, 3. it took me a little while to get back into it because I I went to log in to Battle.net and to download it, mm-hmm. and I kind of didn't have the Battle.net installer or whatever on my computer anymore. So I went to Battle.net or Battle.net.com. Oh, yeah. or, well, not dot com. Just Battle.net. Yeah. Uh, Battle to Net. get it. Yeah, Battle.net. Uh, to <laughs> get it, and my account wouldn't work. Yeah. So. I was like, okay, you what, forget go, your password, well, Dudley. It, I used my old, e- old, old email, and I forgot. Like in the fall, what, what is your old email, Dudley? I'm not gonna say on here. Uh, uh, it is Fallout related, though. Um, <laughs> oh, the, I know it. I'll tell you. <laughs> but uh, the so I I tried it, but it wouldn't work. And then I had forgotten last fall my. I had some issues with a bunch of my game accounts being hacked, so I had to change a yeah. lot of them. So I switched to our newer email. But anyway, so I forgot about that, but it still wouldn't work either. Yeah. And so I ended up having to... I went through, dug through my email to see what, if I had got anything from yeah. you know, them. Turns out, like, the same day I had changed my email to yeah. the new one, it had been changed again oh. by someone else. Really? Yeah. And I didn't recognize the email. Oh. And, and I guess because it happened on the same day, and I, I just assumed it was the same email. Yeah, you didn't I just realize. ignored it. Well, so I had to call. And get your account back? Well, I had to go online. I tried to do it through the chat thing. It wouldn't work for some reason. So then I had to tell them, okay, I submitted to be called, and they yeah. called me nicest customer yeah. service I've ever dealt with. Yeah. Really friendly guy, and he, yeah. he almost, he sounded like I, a dude. Yeah. You know, he was just like, oh, yeah, yeah man, like, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right, man. He was really cool. And yeah. then and then I chatted with him for a little while, and he, and, and he it was the most, you, it was the easiest number. tech support I've ever had. Yeah. And he fixed it, and I had to tell him my information and everything to get yeah. it, tell him what games I had on there, and I could, I only have half remember it but i yeah and so i got it back uh, finally got it downloaded and was uh-huh. you know played it and uh i forgot i don't know why i forgot this but it's online only it was yeah. diablo 3 yeah um which was fine i always played diablo 2 online yeah um but our internet's been running really yeah, poorly it's been terrible lately um i don't know what so it. it was kind of laggy for me and i kind of yeah. it kind of killed it for me for a little bit i'll yeah. probably play, give it another go but yeah it just I have to do it on a slow day, but yeah. you know our internet is working well. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd like to play it, but maybe there's too much stuff coming up. Yeah, I, that's I'll the other problem. I started it was the worst week to do it. I started it, and then I'm like, this week I'm not going to get back to it because yeah. there's other stuff coming out. No. Um, I'd like to play it because I never played the DLC for it. Yeah, uh, uh, Reaper, Reaper of Souls. Souls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we said that same time. We're in unison. We're in sync. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Eventually, I'd like to get it and, and play that. Yeah. And, um, I, I played through... I have it, and I played through... I don't know how far I got. I yeah. probably got halfway through it or something, but I don't. I never finished it. Yeah. If I did, I don't remember anything about it. But um, I'd like to play it. I haven't done it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. Of course, I'm, you know, as far as like Battle.net stuff and, and uh, Blizzard, like I still want... I still haven't got Legacy of the Void. I'd yeah, like I to get even. it and play through it. Yeah. And... Uh, but I haven't. I don't know when that'll happen. I'd like to. Yeah. But uh, uh, that's yeah. Starcraft, the newest mm-hmm. DLC for Starcraft Two. Yeah. And um, well, actually, it's like a standalone, isn't it? Well, you can. You know, it's not really a DLC because Harder yeah, Swarm wasn't a DLC. You yeah. can buy it just yeah. yeah you can buy you it separately. To. Same yeah. thing with Harder Swarm. Uh, not Harder Swarm. Uh, Legacy, Legacy of the, of the Void. Void. You don't have to have the other ones to yeah. play it. You can just. Get I'm surprised it. you didn't jump on it because you're I know. A I talk. I guy. actually. It just kind of. It was at a time, I don't know why, I just missed it. Yeah. I just forgot about it, and, you know, I was busy with other things. radar. Because uh, I was busy that summer when it came out, yeah. and I just didn't have time to play, and I did. I forgot about it. Yeah. Simple as that. And so I haven't bought it, and yeah. then now I don't really have the money to spend on it. Yeah. Um, but ho- hopefully I'll get around to it, because I'm yeah. a big protest player. Yeah. I always play protest on uh, on StarCraft, yeah. so um, I'll hopefully get back to it eventually. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's the case with a lot of things. Isn't yeah, it? It, uh, I don't know. Well, I, I like I like to get into it. It's just again, it's time and, mm, and a little bit of money and uh, yeah. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, Whenever we do, we'll talk about we'll it. We'll talk about it exactly. <laughs> Whenever yeah. we get around to it, yeah. then we'll talk about it. No matter how late it is, yeah. ten years from now, we fi- oh, I finally played uh, uh, Legacy, Legacy of the Void. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. This is what I sound like. Your in the system future. still plays it. Yeah, yeah. 
Man. I had to, I had to run the uh, uh, Windows 10 emulator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably going to happen, though. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, probably not. More likely. I mean, if, if they're not like... Compatibility mode. <laughs> yeah, it's going to have a compatibility mode, whatever they're yeah. running it. Um, if they're not we, oh, doing the... Uh, well, B- uh, Battle.net put out an update, so now you can play it on the new system. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of like they did with ba- uh, Diablo 2 and yeah. Warcraft 3. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, All right. So, um, yeah, um, let's talk about tomorrow, or Tuesday, the day Tuesday after this after podcast th- goes up. Yeah. It's we'll a big day. Yeah. Two we have, new things coming Yeah, out. we got Dark Souls 3. Yes, which I'm very excited which about. Which I'm really excited about. I need about. to buy it so yeah. I can have it I, when it comes out. I already own it. I'm hoping it preloads soon. Yeah. Maybe, usually it some starts on Sunday or Monday, but I'm hoping I can get it up, get it preloaded. Yeah. Um, so you can start playing. So I can Tuesday. start playing it on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, so Dark Souls three. I'm really excited. I can't. I am wait. too. Um, very excited. Uh, I wish I'd gotten in time to finish Dark Souls two before yeah. I do it. But I, almost, I, I didn't get. I, back I to tried. It either. I I just didn't make time for it. But uh, I yeah, it's such a good game though. I'm really excited. I always I always get amped up about yeah, you know, being tortured tortured. <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking of uh, Dark Souls 3, they, they've been putting out some pretty some, interesting yeah, some stuff. Yeah, some interesting marketing, marketing stuff. stuff from it. They had yeah. a, uh, last, a... Last week, it was a, a trailer uh, for... For like it was a, like a very eighties like, like horror, VHS, horror VHS. A, VHS movie trailer. Yeah. It was really pretty clever. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it had that eighties voice guy yeah. who's like you know you will the whole die thing was like all this stuff the whole thing was like old like grindhousey stuff graphic yeah. stuff going on. It was pretty interesting. It's like prepare to die. Yeah, and <laughs> it, it just. It, uh, it was great. It was pretty funny. I uh, liked it. It was uh, really enjoyable. Uh, our buddy Graham sent it to us. Yes. And uh, he said, this is a real, like, marketing. It wasn't like, I thought I thought it was like somebody made this. But no, it was like actually uh, from, from Software put it out. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty funny. And yeah. then. This week, or this a couple week, days ago. Yeah, this week. They tweeted a little they, clip. Yeah, they tweeted a clip because there's been this meme. I guess you call it a meme. A little yeah, thing meme. Uh, going around. Um, uh. Ben yeah. Affleck and uh, Hen- Henry Cavill, like yeah, inter- for, interviewing, they're doing, for, yeah, they're yeah, doing, doing promotion for, yeah, promotion uh, for, for Batman v- versus Superman, and th- someone in the original video was that someone the 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 interviewer asked them about the bad reviews that the movie was getting, and Henry Cavill just starts talking, and then Ben Affleck just looks really like I he, I don't know if he's zoned out or what, but he just looks really depressed. Well, someone took it and played uh, Simon Garfunkel's uh, Hello, uh, uh, is. Uh, um, darkness, uh, uh, no, hello uh, darkness, my old friend. I yeah, can't remember uh, the name of the song, but Sound of Silence, Sound of Silence, and yeah. uh, put that over it, and it had this slow zoom, and it's hilarious. Like, him. well, they took that and added, dark and instead souls. of, and then changed the question to them asking about, he's like, are you, you know, are you ready for Dark Souls Three? And and hit the the same song start overlaid with like all this dying and stuff in the previous dark. Uh, the Dark Souls game is like, yeah. oh no, I'm gonna be drugged back into this. Yeah, and he ju- like, it just fits so it fits perfectly, so good. Yeah, it was he, so funny. And I'm like, I gotta give from Software, who their marketing team has done some really fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's really, it's really funny. Very, and very topical. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it's really funny because he, it just looks like he's like, it's like this mixture of excitement, but also, uh, uh. Yeah, he's Sad. got that cool shop effect where he's yeah. just like he looks like he's ready for it, but he look he's, well, he's gonna do it, but he knows how it's gonna be be uh, uh, you know painful, painful <laughs> uh, as all Dark Souls games are. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm you know maybe I'm a little masochistic, but I'm I'm, oh, I'm I l- excited. I love Dark Souls. Yeah. I mean I've I've been hooked since Dark Souls One, yeah. and i and and the only thing that got me into that wasn't anyone told me this game's good or whatever. Oh, yeah. I saw the trailer oh, yeah. for it on TV, and I was like, I have no idea what this is, but it is looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. And it, and and then I heard a little bit of buzz about it, and I was like, I I know I gotta yeah, get this. I just gotta get it. And I bought it, and I've not regretted it since. Yeah, I see, yeah you and Josh were both playing. Yeah, it. and because Josh was living us with us at the time when mm-hmm. Dark Souls One was out, and um, y'all were playing it a lot. Yeah, and I I kind of would just watch. I kind of wander in and watch, and going, "What is this?" And, and I'm it like, was, "It looks, it looks great." I love the art and just the 
And so I was like, okay, I have to get this. And I, so I got it a little later. Yeah. And so I got it and started playing it. And, but which was really helpful for me because there was constantly, you know, there's a lot of figuring stuff out in Dark Souls, especially. Yeah. And, especially and the so first one. especially the first one where I was just like, you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Or it doesn't really hold your hand at all. Yeah. And so it was really helpful where I could figure out and I, or I go, I, if I couldn't figure out, I'd just walk over to Josh and be like, all right, what do I do? And he's like, oh, have you been to the, the bell tower? Go to the bell tower. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go to the bell tower. Ring yeah. the bell. He mentioned bells, right? Go ring the bells. I'm like, okay, well, where is that? Yeah, just over here. And I'm like, okay. And then I got a direction. I could kind of figure it out. See, I, that's one thing I love about Dark Souls, yeah. particularly Dark Souls 1. Uh, it reminds me of old school games. Like, it yeah. took me back to the Super NES with Met- Super Metroid. Yeah. And how that game doesn't hold your hand, yeah. doesn't tell you what to do. Yeah, you just dro- you're dropped on this planet, and you're you just got to kind of figure it out. And yeah. you get little uh, little minor hints, but barely. It's yeah, just kind of like okay, I kind of need to go. You get new stuff, and yeah, kind of you get your stuff. You got to figure it out. Area for you. And then this is the exact same thing. You get a very brief, uh, very vague story, and you're like in this prison, and then you mm-hmm. just go. doesn't tell you which way to go. It uh, leaves it up to you. You can go any direction well, you want. And everything's got this weird tone where you yeah. have, like, it's Jap- It's a Japanese take on, like, Western medieval, like, stuff. It's fantastic. I love it. I love the flavor of it. I yeah. love just, like, the tone of it all. It's all a little twisted. It's all yeah. just, like, I don't know. I just I just eat it up. It's great. Yeah. Uh, and Dark Souls 2, I enjoy. I never finished it, yeah. sadly. Um, I think something else came out, and I I, I had to Probably. drop it behind. I don't but, know. Uh, I, I can't remember what came out after that. But it, it And so it, I, maybe one day I'll go back to it. But Dark Souls 3, I'm excited for. Yeah. Uh, and then Bloodborne, obviously. Yeah, Bloodborne was there. Yeah. Well, it, other, that was really good. One. I need to play it. I've only played like a, like it's, a few it's, hours of it because I don't have a PS4. Yes, yeah, I had to come over and and use your system every once in a while, but I I never did play it. I need to, I need to sit down and play it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's 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 same. It's the same. Um, but it's got you know it's a it's Victorian a area, yeah. the it's werewolf a, yeah. stuff, and yeah. oh, it's just great. I mean, and it's it's terrifying. It is all of it's terrifying, uh, and that's you just don't just know like what's going to happen. Traversing the mist. Oh, like yeah. Going, uh, Every time you see a mist door, I and don't, you're just I don't like, want to go. You're like, I need to go through I this. I need to go through there. But I don't know what's in there. It might, yet, for all I know, there's a closet with a giant, you know, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. minotaur on the other side of it waiting to sh- murder me. I don't know. It's always funny when it's kind of something not, like, super. <sighs> it, but it's all, half, most time it's something big. And then not always. All, but like, like Dark Souls 2, I think, was really bad about... I was through this and, and open it and like it. oh it's just another it's just a big area a new yeah. big area I'm like well that's and I'm sorry. part of me's relieved but a part of me's also feeling dumb that I like had to Got work scared. I had to work myself up I'm like all right all right all right am I ready yeah. to do this let's do this and I have no idea what's gonna be on the other side yeah um uh, oh, I love that game yeah it's so it's, much fun I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, scratch yeah. that itch again yeah mm. oh that's probably because yeah it comes out Tuesday which is the day after this podcast goes up, and yeah. so I probably will spend what free time I have yeah. this week playing this that game. Yeah. Also, what comes out oh, on yeah. Tuesday the 12th, April, yeah. uh, is uh, the new DLC for Fallout 4. Yeah, the, uh, the Wasteland. Wasteland Workshop. Yeah, wor- Wasteland Workshop, Yeah, which adds the whole capturing creatures, Pokemon yeah, building element. arenas, <laughs> building arenas to fight. You can trash your death claws and tame them. Yeah. There's also, like traps or something yeah i, I think they're well they're traps and stuff that you use to capture anything i, can, I think you can you can you can like basically kidnap people i think yeah i think there's a whole yeah, thing like a whole thing where you can literally capture anything yeah it, it says then, you can design and set cages to uh-huh. capture live creatures from raiders to death claws exactly tame them and have them face off in battle yeah. even against the fellow settlers in, a, in one of the crane shop I thought I don't know if it's something you build or what, but it looked like there was like a cage and it's like a big sign that says "Free Kims." Yeah, <laughs> like well, you're trying to trick thing. junkies has, to come in. <laughs> it has like letter kits so you can make signs. Yeah, and stuff it has, like that. apparently it's adding a whole lot of stuff with the community building stuff, which so is you cool. Can add, yeah, which it needed more. It, like yeah. it was cool, but it need it was it, to me it felt like it was very limited. Like inventory well, it felt like I could, could just build stuff that was already in the world. You know, like I could yeah. build a shack. 
and it, it would look like a shat that fit in the yeah, game. Yeah, it would fit in the game, but, but it, it didn't have my own touch variety. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I kind of got, you know, stuck doing kind of the same thing. Yeah. But hopefully the new stuff. Yeah, also, I'm really excited it, to see what all the new stuff is. It like. has taxidermy. Apparently, oh, really? That's what the, little, the makes... description says. It says, uh, design options to settlement for uh, Nixie 2 lighting, letter kits, taxidermy, and more. Yeah. So yeah. I guess you can capture these creatures and then stuff them. <laughs> yeah. Um, Have a stuffed raider in your yeah, bedroom the, or something. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess so. You can or make uh, little, little yeah statue things or something. I don't know. I did see a picture. It looked like a, it was a... Something a fish or something on a wall. Oh mount yeah. Or something. I don't. Know. I don't know. I didn't look at it closely. Yeah. But there was something mounted. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I, I, again, it comes out the same day as Dark Souls Three. Yeah. So unless, you know, I hope the download for it is not ginormous, because it's gonna kill our bandwidth. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, the, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Dark Souls Three is already gonna be ginormous. Yeah. Uh, so you have, have to download everything, but we'll. I I I want to jump into it immediately too, try it out, but I I don't know if I'll make it this week for it. Yeah. Dark Souls Three might take precedence. Yeah, I think it will as for me as well. Uh, Dark, I'll probably spend most of my time playing Dark Souls Three. Yeah. And then I might. I'll try it. Probably try to jump on it at some point this week. Yeah. Uh, but it kind of overshadows it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm so I'm excited about it. It's it's the one it, I'm excited about. It's probably the the least exciting DLC, though it does have some cool stuff. I don't know. It, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, um, building stuff and capturing creatures sounds. It's I I I'll probably get that uh, itch I get from Pokemon where I want to capture everything. Yeah. So it'll be like okay, I gotta have one of every. Yeah, creature. we ha- we're such I collectors. A, I, um, uh, I I need to have my, uh, a Poke deck within Fallout <laughs> Four so I can keep track of. Uh, do I have a a, a, a Merlar or a, a Merlar um, King or, or Hatchling? Can you capture a Merlar Queen? I don't know. Man, the cage would have to be ginormous. It would be ridiculous. I don't I, know. I doubt that. I would be surprised. I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe yeah. We'll maybe find it'll, out. I maybe guess. it'll surprise us. Um, but uh, <sighs> the idea of catching a death claw is scary enough. I know. Um, it'd be great if it had a, like a whole element where it's like, oh, you captured a death claw. Oh, now he's trying to escape. <laughs> but you have to, you know, you're trying to. Yeah, tame where do it. you keep them? Yeah, you gotta keep got, them in cages or something. I assume so. Yeah, you gotta feed them. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Pokeballs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, ex- I'm intrigued. Um, yeah. I want to, again, I just don't know if I'll get to it this week or not. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Just, uh, know, balance of time. Might, yeah. might take, yeah. take my soul. Yeah. And yeah. give it to some kind of warrior so he can level up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what, what kind of character do you think you'll play? In Dark, Dark, S- Dark yeah. Souls? Probably, l- in the past, I've predominantly played, like, I put a lot of strength and a lot of dexterity. I I go for and I go for generally I don't use shields. I use two-handed weapons. Uh mm-hmm. I I go t- I do two I two-hand weapons. I go for maximum damage I'll put with a single hit yeah. while also still having enough strength and dexterity to, to wear heavy armor and be able to still roll. Yeah, you do you so you're kind of a dexterity uh warrior. I I go for a tank. Yeah. I go for a tank that can still Dodge basically. Yeah, that's I, I keep, kinda what I do. Yeah, I the last in Dark Souls two I do I was a shield user. I used Harry Heavy with shield yeah. and one and a sword of some kind. Yeah. And in Dark Souls one I was like that's the way I played. Dark yeah. Souls two I kinda did that. Sometimes I would switch if I had a better wep- one hand weapon, I would switch it and a yeah. shield. But mostly I, I that's my kind of form. Oh, yeah. And then I, once I finish it the game once I'll go back and play it again, trying different ways. Like I I know I played through Dark Souls one Playing like the mage, yeah, and See, which never, is so different. Yeah, it's a whole it's different thing. I never like, got into any it, of the magic stuff in the game. It's, it's, it's really different because it's like, you know, I went from just like getting in and close and just learning the timing to dodge away, and then just hitting them as hard as I can. Yeah, that's and, what I did. And, and then and this when you play as a magic user in a game, it's kind of the opposite. It's more range play. You're staying back away from it mm-hmm. and you're just hitting it with your spells, yeah. and uh, which is really different. Especially like, just I felt like I died more dealing with just random, you know, uh, undead 
where I like I just run into a guy and he's not right on top of me and I'm like I can't cast a spell at you this close I'm like yeah. trying to cast a spell without dying. Yeah, see, my focus on especially in Dark Souls One, mm. I was very, very high hell. So mm. even if I did take a hit, yeah. I wouldn't take a lot of damage. Yeah. In fact, it was really funny. I was playing it and I had the big heaviest armor or whatever and. I t- decided to take it all off one point, uh-huh. and my guy was so fast. Yeah, so it was wicked ridiculously fast. fast and then, so I was like, okay. So I had my d- character running around naked with this big You're like, sword. Yeah, like, uh, two, uh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't it remember. Was. It was like this massive slab of metal. Yeah, slab of metal. With two, he was two handing it, but uh, he was like cartwheeling. Yeah, and it's just the funniest thing. Well, it ever. looks hilarious. Uh, and that reminds me of a story in Dark Souls 2, because, you know, there's the whole fight other players in certain yeah. areas. You could control areas. Um, yeah. And you can get in an area, and someone will show up and fight mm-hmm. you and kind of take control yeah. of it. Well, one of the I was in one of those areas, just kind of running around. I was fighting some people. This guy shows up. Uh-huh. He invaded he was, your world? He was, yeah, he invaded my world. He was n- n- nothing but a loincloth. Uh-huh. And he had... It, there was this one sword that was massive, huge, uh, like yeah. probably the biggest sword in the game. He had two of them. He was <laughs> dual wielding them, and he was stark naked in a loincloth, and he kicked my ass. <laughs> I could not do uh, anything to him, and I most of, I spent like mm-hmm. half an hour just kind of running and hiding and uh-huh. fighting and. and and still lost. Yeah, I did. T- it was. Re- I was de- that, depressed after. Oh that. yeah, that like, reminds God. me. It reminds me because there were some that you could like accept challenges from yeah. players, and I forget they had a name for it. It was one of the the, the guilds, taunts. I think. Yeah, or something. But like, no, like you could actually. He would oh, show yeah, up. Yeah, 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 he yeah. would show up as a glowing signal, and you could summon him yeah. in. But it was other player. And I saw this one, and I'm like, oh, that's really funny. It was a big, bald guy, not wearing anything, with a big mustache. And I thought, he looks like Bronson. Yeah. Like, for, you know, the, the, the prisoner. Charles that, Bronson. Yeah, yeah, Charles Bronson, the, the UK yep. prisoner that uh, they did the movie Bronson about uh, yeah. with Tom Hardy, yeah. who, whom I love. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I'd, I'd watch any movie with Tom Hardy just to listen to him talk. Yeah, okay. But anyway, um, he... It, uh, he looks just like him. I'm like, oh, that's funny. He looks like Bronson. Then I saw his name, and it was like Bronson. Yeah. And I'm like, I gotta fight this guy because he had no weapon. It was just him with like the little fist thing, like mm-hmm. the fist weapon, and nothing else, no armor or anything. I'm like, well, let let me just fight this guy. It'll be fun. I like, maybe there's no way I I'll lose. I'll beat He's him because Charles Bronson. You're no, gonna lose. No, he kicked my ass. He 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 punched me and then ran behind me and then like crippled like uh uh sneak attack me yeah. back you know like uh, the backstab yeah the backstab with his fist mm-hmm. like twice and then i i was dead and yeah. i was like well yeah, if you can I, master, I learned my lesson if you can master the backstab which is kind of difficult to do if you can yeah. do that master that you can take anything in yeah. the game it's just insane. I, al- I also had a uh an incident in dark souls one where um i was down at the bottom of um What's that? Oh, oh, oh uh, Blight Town. Blight Town. I was yeah. at the bo- just through it, which is a terrible place. <laughs> yeah. I was down at the bottom of it because you're like down in the middle of this ravine thing thing, and then I get the thing saying that someone's invaded my world, and I was like right in a corner up, up on a little platform. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna wait for the guy. Yeah. And I just stood there, and I waited, and I swear, like several minutes went by before he finally I saw him walking through, like looking for me, like trying to say. And I just waited, and I, like, pulled out a bow or something, and I started sniping him. And he started rolling back or whatever. And I we spent an hour, <laughs> like, cat and mousing. Like, he was trying to lure me over to there's a spot where there's these gi- giant troll things throwing yeah, rocks at you. Trying to get he was trying to bait me into that so they would take fight me because he realized he couldn't fight me. Like, I was I was able to, you know, he couldn't get up close to me, and, yeah. and I was going to murder him. And I spent... A while he I he I I've been a while fighting this guy and like bouncing around and like trying to get him basically gotten up to him and uh he I basically made him spin all the stuff he had to heal himself because you could like eat yeah the potions you, well or the, no, the no, flask yeah you could do the flask but he also you could when you're invading a world I don't know if you can use your flask you can you could use consume souls. souls yeah so he was like consuming souls nonstop but while I was just beating on him but yeah. he could back he was backstabbing me. But it was, because I had so much armor and health that it wasn't doing near enough damage. Yeah. So I was just like, I got this. And I slowly just wore the guy down and beat him. And yeah. I, 
yeah. that was really satisfying. I felt really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's Dark Souls. Uh, Stories really, will be made. Yes, yeah, we shall... Uh, we'll Anger will be had. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't get angry in Dark Souls. I just I, go... I, I get a little I frustrated get, sometimes. I get frustrated in difficult parts, but mm-hmm. beyond... But not like I never get like angry and slam the controller yeah. down or nothing. No, I never I, I usually play it. If I get... It gets really difficult and I have a lot of trouble, I'll yeah. usually stop for maybe it, an it, hour It can so, be emotionally but, draining. But yeah, I, I just... It's just... It's an experience. That's just all yeah. there is to it. It's just an experience. Yeah. Um, you just have to play it. Um, yeah, if you so like being tortured and <laughs> dying a lot. And you like, you know, really fun horror third-person combat games. Yeah, that doesn't hold your hands or doesn't yeah, tell you just, what to do. You just play. Yeah. Um, and Figure I, it out. Fight, yeah. fight scary things. Yeah. And uh, there, as always, it will deliver. Yes. Um, all right. I, we, we, um... <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about something. Okay. So, I don't know if you know this. But David Hayter has yeah. returned as the voice of Snake. Yes, yes, I'm aware. In of this. Ford commercials. Yes, he. So okay, David Hayter was fired. Well, well he wasn't not really fired. fired. He, he just wasn't, wasn't rehired, rehired for Pan- a Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Yeah, they didn't bring him back. They yeah. went with Keith or S- Keith Keith or Sutherland. Yeah. Uh, uh, to to do the voice of Big, the boss. big boss. Yeah. Well, and he, David Hayter, did the voice of of Snake since uh, the the original the Metal original Gear Solid Metal Gear one. Solid One, um, and all yeah, he did all he did the voice did of it of and Big Boss yeah. in in uh, Snake, Eater and, uh, Snake Eater and Snake Eater, also uh, Peace Walker, yeah. and all that. And so, but he didn't get asked back to do the, for Pan and Pan. Yeah, I didn't do that. I don't know why, but it, it whatever. The, I, the uh, official story is they were doing motion capture to do it, act performances, and they wanted to be able to to get the performance from the actor. That's the official story. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. David Hayter doesn't have very nice things to say yeah, about he was Kojima not very, he or was not happy Konami. With, yeah. He's not happy about it. But um, apparently, you know, you write a check and he'll come back and do it for some Ford commercials. Apparently, which is surprising. Yeah. I'm sur- I, well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Konami <laughs> let them do it. You know how dirt cheap these commercials had to be? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, as I far mean, as production goes, well, they, they all the, I mean, the first one I saw was just all it is is a screen of the the of codec, the, the yeah, the your, the radio codec thing from uh, where it's from the first from Metal Gear Solid it's all one. from from Metal Gear Solid One. It's not Phantom Pain or anything. It's all Metal Gear Solid mm-hmm. One, and like the uh, uh, the commander's calling Snake and like and, and I got you know I'm gonna tell you about this this Ford Fusion and like. And, and, and that's it. All this is redub. Is, it's just eating it up, yeah. too. He's just, and, oh, yeah. And the other one is him talking with um, Psycho Mantis. And Psycho Mantis is, like, reading his mind. He's like, oh, you want the... I know I can read your mind. You want the new Ford-focused whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, this is super silly. Yeah. And, it, and I'm like... We, 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 we talked to Graham about it. Yeah, Graham. Bit. Graham was just like... This just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's so silly. It's so silly. It's way too late. I mean, if it's tied into meta, to it, Phantom Pain, Pain yeah, okay, okay, I can see it. But no. But no, this game's 18 years old. Yeah, it, you, you, I don't... I, they're, like, trying to cap that nostalgia, yeah, I well, guess. I, I don't know. The... the the, they're tapping into are trying to hit a certain demographic, yeah. which I guess is people our age. Well, yeah, uh, we're the ones who are supposed to be bu- buying, buying a Ford, Ford Fusion. Fusion. <laughs> you know, I guess Phantom Pain players m- could be younger, yeah. uh, but you know, we're the right age, I guess, to be buying a Ford Fusion. And so, uh, yeah, and so yeah, I was like, oh, let's go back to the you know, uh, uh, yeah. Metal Gear One and just redub it, yeah, to be a Ford commercial. And they got. You know, they got David Hayter. They got the original voice of uh, Psycho Mantis. Oh, Psycho Mantis. Yeah, and I think the, so, yeah. And, uh, oh, it sounds like him. I yeah. assume it's him. And the guy who did the commander. I knew they got yeah. them, too, but I didn't know. Uh, yeah. So I didn't. I haven't seen the Psycho Mantis It's one. exactly what. It's the scene of him, like, reading his mind. It's the little cut scene, except yeah. he's talking about a Ford. I uh, mean, it, it still looked like the old PlayStation Yeah, no, it, it, one. Not, there's no quality. No. They have not updated it or anything. All they did was take a screen capture of it and dub over it. Uh-huh. That's all they've done. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so... Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, and, um, and you know, and Konami doesn't give a shit. All they did, you know, that was just a check for them. Basically. They didn't have to do anything. Ford came they, to them. Ford came like, to them and said, we want to do this, and they're like, give us a bunch of money. And they wrote a check, 
and then yeah. they hired David Hayter, who wasn't bitter enough to to not do it, I guess. Well, or maybe he's like, well, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure he got paid. Paid. Well, I know he got paid. I, I don't well, know I'm how. I'm sure well he got paid probably fairly well to do it. But. Yeah, but still, it's just like, and I, it, I don't know. Maybe I wonder if they, like he's like, oh, I'm, it's a jab at them to be like, oh, I can, you know, I'll sell out. For you know, Metal Gear. I don't know. It's so weird. It's, it's, it's such knows? a weird joke. The way I, only way I, the way I see this happened was that some dude at Ford, who's a big, was like in in the marketing department, like, like, man, I love Metal Gear. I would love to do something with Metal Gear, but I work for Ford. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, we should do an ad where we overdub some clips from Metal Gear One. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like. Okay, and that somebody signed off on I it because they probably because it was cheap. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, they didn't I have mean, to go out shoot out a bunch of. Well, board, they still board. did because like, the codex shows a little. Yeah, small it shows a little bit, but you know footage, that, that uh, could have been an old commercial for all yeah. I could tell. But uh, like, they didn't barely have to do any. It was all, probably it cheap probably as was, far as production is concerned. It probably was an old commercial. They yeah. just took the thing footage from it and played yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like. Yeah, it's just super. Dude. I want that's probably the only reason they got it done. It's like all we gotta do is pay them a little bit, kick them some royalties, yeah, and then we can do this yeah. really cheap, and it'll hit that market, that demographic. I don't know. It's so silly to me. Yeah, but it happened. It it's happened. Out there, so it's out there. Check so it out. watch it if you want to see something really silly. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily successful marketing i don't, <laughs> I don't know i don't from now on i'm not gonna look at a ford fusion and think think about oh i'm gonna feel like metal gear i'm gonna feel like solid snake riding it no <laughs> no I, I think i'm more like i'm gonna feel like david hater cashing a check <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly uh, it's like no, whatever um doesn't make me want a car speaking of metal gear solid one yeah so there was some news recently okay so we talked about a couple of weeks ago yeah a few a little while ago I about uh the metal gear hd the R- remake yeah and how it, it was shut down it was shut down um presumably I, by Ko- konami but yeah. anyway Re- they announced recently that they they are turning they're t- it's not all going to waste they're they're taking the the map they made yeah and they're gonna make a like a museum to the game so okay you, you can explore okay so you can just travel around basically the map of the game it just yeah. won't have the game elements so you can see the what Shadow they Moses. Did. Did you see yeah, Shadow Moses, so, an updated version of Shadow Moses. So yeah, you can see Shadow Moses, and they're even requesting like uh, to see get like people who cosplay pictures and stuff to add to it. So like, I don't really understand why that's being. Added. I'd be okay with just exploring the digital. I world. guess, but apparently they're gonna put some some. I guess they just want to do something with it. Yeah, they it's so it doesn't go to waste. I guess, but it apparently will support uh, VR. So you can walk so around can it. So you can just walk around it in, with, like, a VR headset. with a VR headset and see it all in person. That I, that might be cool. That would be pretty cool. I don't know about the cosplay. I, the cosplay, stuff. I don't care. About I don't care. About that. That. I don't care about seeing other people dressed as characters. Yeah, and I guess it's a way to to show off some of that stuff in the environment. Yeah. Um, but and not just have the environment. I guess they're I mean, just trying and, to make it more interesting. Yeah, they? or and like. I mean, maybe if they had some stuff, like, written in stuff into it that's, like, talked about the game and it, how, the yeah. original game and how it was made and who, all that. That I could see. And, yeah. And have the cosplay stuff as, like, this is, like, the fan base, right? Yeah. That I, I could see. Yeah, and that they could cool, have a section with cosplay. Yeah. And if I, you want to go look at it, fine. But if you don't, don't oh, well. I think it would be interesting if they had it where it's, like, you, you, if they could get interviews or you know with the people who made the game and yeah. they talk about it, and you go up to a see that would they, be cool. Oh, they talk about the uh, the fight, you know. Yeah. With, with sniper Instead wolf of it, or it'd be it, like sniper wolf. It, uh, like is sniper wolf in the first one. Sniper wolf's one of them. I can't remember if that's uh, Metal Gear Solid one or if that's. I think that's. I, is, I think that's no. I think it's two. Two. I don't know. Anyway, there's a sniper know. lady. There's a sniper someone in the first one. It's it, been too long since yeah. I played it. But anyway, it, stuff like that. Yeah, it would be pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I don't know when it's gonna come out. There, you know, where it'll yeah. be available. I assume I it'll know. be free. I assume it's free because they yeah, can't make they money, can't money off, money off, off it. it. Um, but I, I think I, it's just a way to you. They made this stuff they to gotta, put it out they there. They just want to put it out there so people so can people enjoy it and make. And I think that's cool. I can, that's cool. I guess I don't know. As long, unless they somehow make it interesting or make it like a, uh, um, 
a three dimensional documentary you could walk through, that would be cool. Like I, I don't know. I, don't I think that having that as an option would be nice, but I think it's all it, just being able to explore and see it. It would yeah. be cool. I'd be fine with just looking at it because uh, yeah. I love the game. The game is great, and seeing it in a, a nice three D model. I don't know if cool. that does anything for I me. I mean, or not. after I'm not, probably I spent an hour looking at it, and that'd be the end of yeah. it. But it's still better than nothing at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be interested in that at yeah, all. Well, you're not a fan. I am a fan. You're I just, obviously I just not. would rather see a, a finished, updated game. I, I don't want to see well, like a, a, I would too, a half, obviously, but half, that's not going to happen. I apparently. shut down. You know, this is what we had. Thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being so. Cute. So, would you rather not have anything at all? It. I don't think it changes anything for me. I would rather have this and nothing at all. Yeah. Yes. I. I mean, you still have the original game. Yeah, but I would rather see their work. Put I think out I, there for people to I enjoy. I think I would be more likely than, than just. Yeah. They spend, I mean, that's cool. You know, however long. Yeah, I'm not saying they it. shouldn't put it out there. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, me personally. I Don't would be more likely no. I would be more likely to just go back and play the original game rather than wander through the map they made. But going back and playing the original game is not as straightforward as that. You, it's I mean, because you can either have to play it on the PlayStation One, get the digital version on on PS3, or or play it on you PSP. You have an HD pack that has it, don't you? Nope. No, oh, they don't. The HD pack does not have Metal Gear Solid One. Oh. You have to get the, and I have it digitally on PS3. See, I'll just play that, and I, I, I can do that. But I don't, I don't. You have my PS3, so I it's exactly. So I have your PS3, so I could just play it over there. Um, but I did load it up on PSP to play it on there. But, yeah. You know, so that's, so if you don't have one of those systems, you can't play it. So but you're not playing it this way either. Yeah. <laughs> you're just looking at it. Yeah. Well, you can play it on PS3. With a, P- if you have the PlayStation One, if you have the early PS3 that plays PlayStation Two, which will play PlayStation One. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. the first PlayStation yeah. Three, was yeah, had, had was backwards compatible. compatible. Yeah, it was backwards it had a whole, compatible. Had a whole PS2 in Because it had a whole PS2 Which inside. yours does. Yeah, mine does. So. Um, so I could you could play that. So but I, everything you, you told have, me is but, not a problem. Well, yeah, but it's not a problem if you already own a PS3. But if you don't, I don't. You actually don't. But it's you mine. do. <laughs> I should just take it away from you and then see what you're trying to say. It's, it still won't, it won't change anything. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it, I think you're it's You're getting great. really worked up over this stuff. Yeah, because I, you're saying it's, it's irrelevant, and I don't think I'm it not is. saying it's irrelevant. Yeah, it's well, just, you're implying that it is. I'm not, I'm not yeah. implying. I, you're just not a fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Why don't you call Graham and cry about it? I will. It. <laughs> Me and Graham will have a good... Good. We'll walk through it together. <laughs> You'll hold hands. You'll hold hands uh-huh. and, and skip with our VR uh-huh. headsets uh-huh. Um, that we can't afford. <laughs> that we can't afford. Um, uh, That's going to happen. I'm going to get one eventually. Uh, VR, yeah, eventually. VR yeah. Vive is shipping yeah. or sh- kind of shipping. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, there's some... I guess about same, it, it sounds shipping. like similar stuff with the Oculus Rift. Is people don't, don't know when they're getting theirs. But and it, it all kind of boils down to when you bought it. Because yeah. you pre-ordered it. If you pre-ordered it way back, you'll get it sooner than yeah. if you just did it last week. Yeah, exactly. So it's first come, first, come, first serve. Yeah, so, so you're going to have to wait a little bit. So you're going to have to wait a little bit. I mean, if something like that was the high Oculus demand. Rift last week, you're not going to get it anytime soon. No. Because everyone who did the Kickstarter years ago are going to get theirs first. Yeah, exactly. And apparently there were some issues with Vive where some people got theirs out of order, but yeah. they apparently have, you know, corrected that issue yeah. or something. I don't, I don't know. know. To me, like, it seems like people just complaining because they're not, they don't have well, it as quickly as they want. Well, this day and age, it would, like, Amazon and you see, you, the game comes out, you get it that day. Yeah, exactly. There's no waiting. Yeah. Now, this is a massive hardware thing. Yeah. It takes time. Yeah. And, and people they, aren't used and to it. And they're having anymore. to make them and build yeah, them and, exactly. and, and, and ship them people, out. A lot of people yeah. want them. So, yeah. it, they're not Apple. They're not going to have millions of these just yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so, it takes time. Yeah, it Simple takes time. Way. And even, like, yeah. Patience. I mean, shoot. Yeah, at least you're able to put in orders. I wish I could afford one. Yeah. <laughs> right yeah. now. I come, you know, I've thought about it. I could buy one now. It would hurt me. Nope, but I can't. I can't I, do it. I could, I could buy one. It would, it would hurt. Mm-hmm. But it might, the pain, 
you the financial virtual reality the, the financial world and pain not care. could be re- could be alleviated by <laughs> by my Buying my other games by n- my having a new virtual realm to play and there's some free ones you can get oh, yeah, yeah okay. there's it comes with some games i think and there are some free ones on steam yeah. you can get and most of them aren't that expensive yeah. Or maybe we should just beg one of them to send us one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call Valve. Uh, Cap- Valve, send us a free stuff. Valve or HTC, whoever I need to call. Yeah. Uh, for those Give who can't see vibe. me, which is everyone, I'm holding my hand up like I'm holding a phone. He and, is, uh, and it's stupid. And uh, yes, please, we we do we do podcast. We make we make news. I mean, we talk news. Yeah. But, um, Please just send us free stuff. Yes, we would That's like an eight hundred dollar equipment. Yeah, please just send us to give us that for free. That's gonna happen. Yeah, That's never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Not anyway, uh, moving on. Yeah. Uh, last little bit. I watched a video today that made me laugh pretty good. Okay. Uh, is this, we is this gonna about, be one of those things where you tell me a video and I'm like, yeah, okay. It's we play super hot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Super, super hot. hot is great. Super hot. S- super hot. Yes. Super. Um. Uh, rocket jump, the the uh, the most innovative uh, shooter ever. Uh, shooter, I, first uh, person shooter I've I've played in years. Yeah, you, you completely butchered it. Whatever. But anyway, uh, super, uh, rocket jump. Uh, they produce video, little video game video. They yeah. have a whole online community. Okay. Thing. I don't know. They they I've do. Ch- stuff. I've heard of them. They I've, make things. Yeah. Ro- you know. All right. I'm familiar with rocket jumping. <laughs> I played. Uh, I played uh, Team Fortress. Uh, Team Fortress. Yeah. Yeah. And but anyway, um, <laughs> the um, no, it was Half Life Deathmatch that had the rocket jumps. Team Fortress did Team one. Fortress Team had? Fortress one was where I initially did I the rocket. It was, the it soldier, half, the soldier came Deathmatch. with a shot with a with a, a a rocket launcher, and you point down. You could jump on top of buildings. That was Team I Fortress. Think it's, I think it might have worked in Half Life Deathmatch too, but that Team Fortress one is where I okay. I learned it. Okay, well we may both be right, but anyway, I'm always right. No, well, I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they they put out a video and it's like a, a live action super hot. Okay, and it's like from this guy. It sh- sh- has this guy who controls time. Okay, and so the beginning of it is him getting shot at with a shotgun and it freezing and everything. Uh-huh. But it, it just takes it to these little levels that are pretty really funny and it made me laugh pretty. Okay, good. Um, well, I have to check that. Like, out. Like there's a whole part where he, he like. Call someone on the phone while he's frozen, and he's oh, talking he's to this girl. Walk, and he's talking. No, no, no. Now he can talk, but the people he's talking to, he's like, "Hey, come over here. I need help." And they can't move because he's got it all frozen. They're like making pancakes or something, and it just it, it's silly. Okay. It's like a two or three minute video. How's the production value? Uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to watch uh, it's, it. It's, it's pretty funny. All um, right. So all right. You you've got me interested. It, it's really funny. It's and it it ends silly. And yeah. It, it's 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 a good laugh. Uh, if you're a fan of Super Hot, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, super. If you're not a fan, you need to go hot. play it and become a fan, and then you'll enjoy the super video. Super hot. Uh, yeah. Super <laughs> hot. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. What else? Anything else? I, I don't have anything else. I, I, I think that's we can all wrap. I've got. Uh, um, it's, it's, so, yeah, this week, Dark Souls 3. We're gonna be hitting it hard. Yeah. I'm gonna get some some real playtime on on Steam that Steam control. controller. See yeah. how I like it. Yeah. Hopefully, I like it. I don't want to have to switch to something else. Yeah. Uh. And uh, yeah. yeah. So that's that's what's gonna be doing. Dreaming, dreaming of VR headsets and flight controls and all those things I can't yeah. afford. Yep. Um. But yeah. yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Well. Wrap uh. You know, thank you very much for listening. Uh. As always. As always, please keep sharing us. Uh, wherever you share things, uh, Facebook, bathroom Twitter, walls, uh, the, you know, the park, whatever, graffiti, whatever strangers. it is you do, talk, talk, you know, random homeless people you tell Reddit. things about, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And, you know, our website is deafanddumb.com, de- that's D-E-A-F-N-U-D-U-M-B.com. I'm You'll gonna, get through it eventually. I'll get through it without stumbling it. Uh-huh. Uh, as always, I'm Dan May. And I'm Dudley May, and this has been Deaf and Dumb.